Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chantal Ambord from BlaBlaCar. It's a pleasure to be here today and to be presenting to such an interesting crowd of entrepreneurs and investors. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to drive you through the journey of BlaBlaCar at the interconnection between the sharing economy and mobility. No? OK. Uh, so as you guys know, mobility is a very hot topic. There are a lot of changes and new technologies being developed. We are moving forward with self-driving cars. We are seeing train being developed that could travel at the speed of sound, such as the Hyperloop. We are also doing space exploration, and one day we may have rockets which are going to allow us to go to Mars. So there are many different ways to travel from A to B. Many of you in the audience may be used to take high-speed trains or planes multiple times per month or even per week. But the reality is that 76% of city-to-city -city trips are still happening with cars. And the reason is that roads are just the most dense transportation network existing today. You may have found yourself before, like the gentleman here, inside a car, trying to get to your destination alone, maybe a bit bored, maybe stuck in traffic. And if at that time you had looked to your right or to your left, you probably have noticed that most of the car had just one person in the car, the driver. In fact, the average occupancy of cars in Europe is only 1.7 people, meaning that the largest transportation solution is by and large unutilized. And cars are also expensive. In France, the total cost of owning a car is about 5,700 euros per year. And 40% of this cost is to run the car, and so to pay for fuel and to pay for tolls when you're on the highway. If we're multiplying this number by the 38 million cars in France, then we're talking about 260 billion euro spent on car per year in France alone, or in other terms, about 10% of GDP. But let's look at it from a consumer perspective. Actually, 5,700 euros is about 20% of the average income of a French citizen. It's the second largest expense of any household. So what we do at BlaBlaCar is we are trying to reduce the cost of operating a vehicle by allowing drivers to fill their empty seats with passengers trying the same direction. By doing so, we are also giving access to passengers to the largest transport solution available today, the car. And we allow them to use the solution by spending much less money on the trips. By matching travelers and matching drivers and passengers, we actually increase the average occupancy rate for 1.7 people per car to 2.8. This not only had very positive repercussions on uh, the drivers and the passenger, it also did on the environment. Last year, we, spent, we saved about 1 million tons of CO2 emission. This is equal to 200,000 cars being taken out of the roads for an entire year. So what we are? We are a platform, which is a combination between a travel search engine and a social network. Our technology runs around two very important capabilities. First one is matching. The second one is trust. By matching, we are putting people together so that they can find the best travel companion for the journey. Our aim is to match passengers and drivers that are looking to start the journey from the closest possible departure point and arriving to similar destinations at a commonly desired time. In France, to give you an example, and in Paris, we have 
1,740 different departure points and 13 cars leaving every minute. So instead of going to the train station or to the bus station to find your transportation mode to get to your destination, you may as well go on blah blah car and find someone driving to your destination right starting the trip right next to your house. But matching a scale is only possible if you create trust inside the community. We recently ran a survey across our members, and we discovered something very interesting. We discovered that 88% of our members trusted highly or very highly another BlaBlaCar member with a full profile. And this is 30% more people that rated high or very high the level of trust they had towards their colleagues who they see on a daily basis. And it's just a couple of certain percentage points below the level of trust they have towards family and friends. Trust is actually very important. And it's something that once was uh, limited to people that you knew, to your family and friends and people living in your surrounding. But nowadays, this has changed. And the technology platform and digital tools have allowed to create trust uh, and for platforms such as BlaBlaCar to empower people to create trustworthy profiles. And you do that through verified information. You do that with, um, with, uh, with declared information, declared profile, and by ratings. And when peers, they can trust each other, they can actually start doing economic transactions. And here comes BlaBlaCar. So by matching people and by creating trust in the community, we have created a large-scale trusted community of close to 40 million members. We added 20 million members in the last two years alone, and we are growing at a phenomenal pace. Those members are active members. We actually have 20 million travelers traveling with us every quarter which is much more than the 2.5 million travelers on the Eurostar or the 10 million travelers on British Airway. And the good thing is we just started to scratch the surface because building a plane or building a train, it requires a lot of resources, it requires investments. And there is so many trains that you can put on the rail and so many planes that you can put in the sky. But we have billions of empty seats traveling every year. And by filling those empty seats, we can actually build the most granular and dense transportation mode, as you can see in the picture here. So let's take a step back. We started by talking about the future of mobility. We agreed that when we're talking about the future of mobility, we need to talk about the future of cars. And where is the auto industry heading? Well, it seems that there is a shift of business model from cars sold to miles travel. And the good thing is the business of mobility Ladies and gentlemen, is a very large the one. Sustainable innovation presentation if we are taking the total the miles travel with cars and you multiply minutes. this number by the average cost of a mile, you understand that we are talking about a 10 trillion dollar industry. And that's probably one of the reasons why you see a lot of technology companies uh, from Silicon Valley and elsewhere, we are trying to enter the space. And at BlaBlaCar, what we are doing is we are trying to move with this curve and make these changes happen. And alongside the change in business model, we see a lot of other important changes. Electric vehicles are coming to market and we reduce pollution and uh, CO2 emissions. Connectivity in cars, we allow people to drive, drive safer and data to be shared between cars. And independently on whether we are going to have, and at what point, completely and fully autonomous cars, on whether ownership will still be on the driver's side or will be run by fleet management companies, we know that travel will increase, 
because travel will be cheaper and easier. And we at BlaBlaCar, with our ability to match people and to build trust at scale, we are in the right place to drive this innovation and economic change. By 2030, it is possible that 40% of miles traveled will be shared. Our goal at BlaBlaCar is to transform every car into a BlaBlaCar. So I hope you will join the ride and try BlaBlaCar if you haven't already and come on a ride with us because it's going to be a long, a very interesting journey. Thank you very much.